So I've arrived back and checked my trial cams and there's a, little, there's a few things on it, mainly rabbits, squirrels, uh, a dog on it. Uh, I'm on a huge uh, estate and uh, I've had permission to uh, camera trap and shoot um, animals with my camera on here. Uh, I've had a quick walk around and where I've had the trial cams, cameras, not a lot of activity and there's too much deer print so I think the herds of deer will probably come and trample the camera over. Anyway, I found this, let me turn the camera around. So I've come across this bridge, it's not a natural bridge but it's covered in moss and um, I'm taking it that if animals come they'll probably walk across here and walk across that bridge, it's an easy path. Um, so it's a start, so I'm going to have a go at shooting that, there is a stream coming all the way up here and it follows all the way down there and if we look down here, uh, just next to it here, there's, there's, there's absolutely dozens and dozens of deer, of deer um, prints down here so the chance are they'll be coming across here but the other one or two just may use that bridge so I'm going to go ahead and set the camera trap up now and uh, I'll get back to you in a few minutes when it's all set up and running through what I've gone and done okay got it all set up now so I'm just going to do a walk through test I'm going to jump over this little uh, brook so I'm over there now so if I look across here now you can see uh, You've got the uh, flash two there, flash one there, and behind behind it you've got the camera in the camera trap. It's all set up now. I've got yet the camouflage. If we just look down on the bridge here, if we look down to the disc here, we've got the sensor here, and I've got the sensor pointing across about the middle of the bridge. So if I walk across the middle of the bridge now and try, you should, hopefully you see the flashes go off. So I'm walking across it, bang, that's it gone off now, and that's the second flash. Yeah, what I'm doing here is I've speeded it up and just showing you that I'm actually covering the flashes with a sort of food bags to waterproof them, then putting a bit of camouflage on and then just getting the camera basically ready to start. Now, I'm going to sure everything's turned on. So we'll go down to the uh, see, make sure it flashes and I can turn it on the daytime, that should flash. Yeah, that's flashing. So now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back down to the sensor. Put it onto night mode to stop it flashing. So I'm going to go into that's the, the top switch on this sensor here, number one. Flick it over so it's now in night mode. I'm just going to try and see if I can test that by from hand over it. Yeah. So if I just try again, going past it, it will not go off. But if I block it off and make it dark. That's it, so we're good to go. So that's now on night mode. I'm going to shut them barn doors. Shut them barn doors and just point it around this area here. So when it goes through it, it should fire the camera and the flashes. Got back to the camera trap after four days and uh, we've had a polecat come through two or three times and we've had a badger come through two or three times. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to wrap this one up now and I'm going to move it to a new location and uh, what I'll do now is I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and look where I've got at home and uh, if anything any exciting I'll pop it up here so you can have a look at it. So that's my camera trapping for today. <laughs>